हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज प्रोफेसर ए सी जाधव डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर के के वाक कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नासिक अंडर द कोर्स ऑफ हॉट थ्री फाइव फोर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डिफरेंट डिस्टिलेशन मेथड्स फॉर द एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ द इसेंशियल ऑयल दिस टॉपिक इज मोस्टली कम्स अंडर द प्रैक्टिकल एक्सरसाइज नंबर फोर्टीन विच हैज़ अ टाइटल ऑफ द प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ मेडिसिनल एंड एरोमेटिक प्लांट्स गाइज This video is only for educational purpose and not for any of the commercial use. Uh, have you ever wondered about how to make the essential oil? Let us explain that the essential oil are not made, but instead they are extracted from the plant material. Essential oil are a nature in its most concentrated form. They are extracted directly from the biomass, like from the bark, from the flower, fruits, leaves. nuts red seed or the roots of the plants or the roots of the trees and just one drop contain the complex network of the molecules that deliver the different effect to the body burning aromatic plant material for uh, essence has been a religious traditions throughout throughout the recorded history in our nation essential oil which is also known as a volatile oil and uh, because they are evaporate Radially essential oil are um, considered as uh, lipophilic that is fat loving and also the hydrophobic so this is the short introduction regarding the essential oil and this type of the um, oil we can extract it by the different methods so in uh, methods there are many ones out of which we will discuss only the three methods like a uh, water distillation then the steam distillation and the solvent extraction methods apart from this one there are again the co2 extraction methods then uh, cold press extraction then macerations etc so the first method is a uh, water distillation method so under the water distillation method the first important thing that the planting material they are directly come in a contact with the water so this is considered as a simple method um and we can obtain the good result and in a many uh, area or in a many uh, planting material for the extraction of the essential oil this method is useful so uh, in this method the main advantage for certain uh, material when they are in a powder form but this method is actually not good for the material containing the saponifiable or a high boiling point uh, constituents delicate type of the flowers such as the roses then the orange uh, blossoms would uh, clump together when introduced to the steam in a distilled process the water protects the extracted oil from the overheating condensed liquid cool down and separate from the each other and the remaining water which can uh, sometime a fragrant is referred to by a several name I'll just like your uh, hydrosol hydrolates herbal water essential water floral water herbal distillates they are again used for the many uses so we will see how it work or how we can obtain the essential oil through the water distillation method so there is a simple technique for the water distillation we have a need of the set of mainly the flask containing the water condenser and the separator just like we uh, fill the flask with a uh, water and then after we place the planting material in the use of the planting material we may use the any part as we already said and then after we supply the heat when we supply the heat we knew that the water start the boiling and in this way the essential oil molecules it is separated and in the form of the vapors it will collect okay so it will collect in the form of the water vapors and it will start or we collect it th- 
through the condensation process so for this we have a need to collect this water vapor through the condenser where the continuously cold water is uh, flowing or available so in this way this collected uh, fumes or the collected vapors we can uh, passes through this type of the condenser and after collecting these uh, water vapors which is totally cooled down through the condensation practice we collect into the separator so in a separator there are again the two sections we observe like first one through which we can obtain that is floral water and upper part through which we can obtain the essential oil because the water it is light and the oil which is heavy in a weight so on upper part we obtain this essential oil and from the uh, lower most part of the separator we obtain the hydro uh, floral hydro waters which are again used in a many of the industry so this is the simple method of the water distillation then next one is a steam distillation method steam distillation is a most popular method used to extract and isolate the essential oil from the plants for the use in a natural products this uh, happens when the steam uh, vaporized the plant materials volatile compounds which uh, eventually go through the condensation and collection process so we will discuss few of the procedure points under the steam distillation like we have a need of a large container it may be steel which is usually made of the stainless steel and containing the plant material has a steam added to it then through an inlet the steam is injected through the planting material containing a desired oil release the plant's aromatic molecules and turning them into the vapor in this method again the steam does not penetrate the cell membrane and the essential oil vaporizes only after diffusion out as an aqueous solution through the cell membrane vaporized plant compound travel to the condensation flask or through the condenser and here the two separate pipes make it possible for the hot water to exit and for the cold water to enter into the condenser this make the vapor cool back into the liquid form and the aromatic liquid by product drops from the condenser and collect in inside a uh, receptacle underneath it which is called as a separator because the water and the oil do not mix the essential oil float on the top of the water this method has a uh, advantage over the water distillation like uh, higher oil yield we can obtain means the good uh, oil recovery then steam distillation is a faster than the water distillation so it is a more uh, energy efficient too many of the oils are currently produced by the steam distillation method for example the lemon grass uh, it is produced in a bhutan with in a rural area also by this type of the steam distillation method only the limitation or the disadvantage is that due to the low pressure of the rising steam oil of the high boiling range require the greater quantity of steam for vaporization and hence the longer hours of the distillation is to be needed so the quality of the oil which we can obtain as we said it is again good and also in a large quantity uh, some of the essential oil are many times heavier than the water just like your clove uh, and many more so in this case um, the oil which we can obtain not from the uh, above portion or the upper portion but it should be from its lower portion of separator 
then we will discuss these steps just like we can we have a need of the steel then condenser and the separator in the same um, case of the steam distillation method so in this case first one we have a need uh, to take the uh, steel and then after we can uh, field it means um, we can place the planting material into the steel so the planting material which we can place it should be uh, half or uh, two third up it is necessary and uh, during the preparation of this planting material or the biomass uh, it should be break up uh, into the small pieces but not uh, so small just like the powder because uh, that uh, the bi biomass fall through the netting at the bottom of the flask which may create many of the problems for the evaporation or, th or the extraction of the essential oil content. So in this way um, we fill these uh, biomass or planting material into the steel and then after the steam we can uh, create it uh, in this steel. So uh, this is the type of the steam we can create it by uh, supplementing the uh, steam supply. So it can start this um, boiling of uh, water containing the planting material and uh, passing through the plant biomass then uh, steam breaks up the plant microparticles here. So these uh, separating volatile from the non-volatile organic compounds both rise with the steam and the condenser cools the steams which uh, transport uh, back to the water. So here the containers uh, condenser has uh, two outlets one for the entry of the cold water and another one for the exit of the hot water. So continuous activity uh, of uh, feeding of cold water and replacing means the exit of the hot water through the condensation technique or the uh, condenser we mm, found. Then uh, in this way this collected vapor form we again passes through the condenser and when it can be processed through the required period of the times this will collect into the separator so here again the total absolute or the essential oil in the form in a upper half portions because the oil is um, uh, heavy in a weight and uh, second that is the floral wa water we can obtain at the uh, lowermost part of the separator because it is lighter in a weight and through the separator such a type of the separation is possible and we can obtain the pure quality essential oil and the hydrosols which are again used in a many industry and uh, mainly after the extraction of the essential oil or the essential oil uh, which we obtain are tested for the purity and then uh, after it is sold in a market so this is again the uh, steam distillation method and the next one is a solvent extraction method so in a solvent extraction we use the solvent material like a hexane and a ethanol so these solvent are uh, helpful to isolate the essential oil from the plant material so this solvent it should be uh, a food grade solvent and it is the best suited for the plant material that yield a low amount of the essential oil that are largely resinous or uh, that are uh, dedicate aromatics unable to withstand the pressure 
and distress of the steam distillation this method also produces the finer fragrance uh, than any types of the distillation method through this uh, process the non volatile plant material such as the wax and the pigments are also extracted and sometimes removed through the other process once the plant materials um, has been uh, treated with a solvent it uh, produces the wax aromatic compound which is uh, called as a uh, concrete which is a combination of the fats and the oils when the this concrete substances is mixed with oil then the oil particles are totally releases and uh, it will then process for the vacuum distillations an aforementioned chemical is used in a process then remain in the oil and the oil is used in a perfumeries or in a perfume by the perfume industry or for the aroma uh, therapy so uh, we will uh, see how the solvent extraction practice will help here also we have a need of the three basic um, uh, operating equipments like um, flask or the steel then second one is a condenser and the separators but uh, here again uh, instead of the separator we can directly use the collector and in addition to the condensers or the first uh, uh, filling uh, device that is the steel then um, vacuum distillations uh, should be uh, available so here in a same uh, in a um, first con first flask or in a first uh, part of the equipment we can fill the uh, planting material or we can place the planting material then after we can add the amount of the solvent into it so when we can add the solvent then uh, the um, wax or um, oils wax in the form of the fat in the planting material it will be releases along with the vapors and it will be collected which is known as a concrete okay so this concrete is uh, nothing but the vaporized form along with the essential oil which contain the waxes means the fats or the oils and then after this concrete we will collect into the uh, vacuum distillation unit okay so in a vacuum distillation units we add the alcohol into it okay and uh, when we supply the heat then again due to the process this um, alcohol through the process of the vacuum distillation is removed and the pure absolute we can uh, passes along with the um, or through the condenser likewise and uh, in the condenser as earlier we said this uh, vapor get uh, cooled because we passes it through the cold water and uh, then the last section it is the collector where we have a need of only the one part through which we can obtain the pure type of the essential oil that is in the form of the absolute so this is a more advantageous method over the water extraction or the steam extractions and we will also extract the <coughs> fat in a plant material through the solvent extraction method so this is the uh, solvent extraction method so guys these are the few of the method through which we can obtain the essential oil and uh, in a medicinal and uh, aromatic plants its aroma that is in the form of the essential oil we used in a different industries so this is about the topic thank you thank you very much